Good afternoon. It is um, June 6th and it's a bit of a dull day, um, but we've still not had any rain for weeks. So last couple of days I've been um, setting up a watering system for the back garden anyhow. Um, I've been doing a few other things as well. I've had my first picking of Marge 2 and um, I'll put the video in of that after this to show you what I did with that yesterday. Um, I've done a few odd jobs as well. I've planted some, um, what have I planted? T turnips and leeks. Um, and I think I'll take some more plants over to the allotment later on and get those in over here. But I'll tell you what I've been doing with the watering system. Right. I bought one of these. I had a system. I tried out oh, a couple of years ago and I just couldn't work out how to use it but this one, the, the setup is so easy. Off auto, how often is it going to water, how long for, start time and to set the clock. It is so easy. Got two watering zones. Um, I've got one pipe going to the um, greenhouse and the other one going to the border um, at the back. Let's show you where it's all going. So, this one is, it starts watering the Acer in this tub. I've got attached one of these um, drip irrigation systems from Wilco. And I've wound it around all the tomatoes at the base just to keep all the soil moist, moist there and at the moment just to test the system I'm just leaving it to run for half an hour every two hours. So the green pipe is now running down to that border down there. That's where I picked the marge to yesterday. Um, there's no holes in this pipe yet I'm just running it round to see how far it goes and where exactly to put the holes in it but it's going to run round these pots here those there the back of the tomatoes there and it's even long enough to drip through the squash and the courgette here the courgette there and then the end of it at the moment is just going to the potatoes like I say I'm just testing the system at the moment just to see if everything's working before I actually put holes in it I'm also picking plenty of Lola Rosso what I do is I just pick the leaves around the outside any any tatty ones I give to the chickens but if I take off the leaves that I want from the outside and leave the centre, then the centre leaves just keep coming and uh, it'll last longer than if you just pick the whole thing. There, so I've picked everything from the outside and that'll all grow fresh from the centre now. Stay there, sit, sit down, sit, stay. You ready for your treat girls? You ready for your treat? There you go. Oops. Good girls. Let's see what else I can find you later. And we've got one egg this morning. They're still off lay. We're getting about one egg a day. But um I've collected four eggs now, so that's what we're having for dinner tonight. It's Monday the 5th of June, and I'm just about to make my first picking of Marge 2. Yesterday, I um, uh, levelled up this border and I put in some turnips and leeks. That was Sunday morning, because I've got a new edge on this bed so I can level things up a bit. It was always on a slope, 
So the water just ran off, but that should be a lot better. Well, that's not a massive amount, but I'll um, stir fry that with some onion and garlic and probably um, soy sauce, a bit of ginger, and we'll have that with jacket potatoes and some salad. The salad is going to come from this Lolo Rosso here. And the chard that I've got growing at the front. I'll pick a bit of rocket to go in it as well. And I'll flavour that with a few sprigs of coriander. Oh, not forgetting some chives. And I've picked a bit of uh, perennial cabbage to go in it just because I have some. There's all the salad ingredients. Excuse the noise of the washing machine, but this is what growing food is all about, the eating. In between the carrots, I've put kohlrabi and turnips, and also the same turnips at that end between um, where the parsnips didn't germinate. And then in between all that, um, I've put leeks, and that is tornado. Kohlrabi is delicacy purple. Won't be long before the broad beans are ready to harvest. It's starting to fatten up. And I've picked a bag of lettuce. Okay, one final job of the day is to sow some more um, dwarf green curly kale. I don't know what happened to the last lot. I think it was probably a little bit too warm in the conservatory. Either that or it was very old seed so it didn't germinate. So I bought some fresh seed and that's going in now because this will then go into the position where the potatoes have come out of when uh, I've harvested those. Right, get cracking. It's no wonder this didn't germinate. I've had this seed since 2016. Oh well, I needed to try it just to uh, make sure, but shouldn't have any problems with the next lot. The seedling situation is slowly going down as I get things out in the garden. I'm running out of space though. I need to get those potatoes harvested soon so as I can make more room. This is the haul of lettuce I got from over the allotment. I think that will see us uh, for quite a few days yet. That's that done. And uh, I'll leave them outside this time so they don't get so hot. Shouldn't have any prob problems germinating on the 6th of June, should they? Anyway, see you next time. Bye.